Hello and welcome back, Captains, to another Infinite Galaxy video. This is Dragothian here, and today we're going to be going over the top 10 things that you need to do in Infinite Galaxy to maximize your time, to maximize your benefits, your rewards, your productivity. How much time you spend in the game directly reflects what you can get for free in this game. And there's so many things that you can do in this game every single day. I'm not even talking about your daily and weekly events when it comes to like uh, Galaxy Star and this type of stuff, Galaxy Patrol, S Secret Signal, um, all those things. All this, I'm not even talking about that. I'm just talking about the everyday things that you can do in the game to get a ton of free rewards. So let's jump right into it. Number one, the first thing that I recommend you making sure that you are topped off on is the campaign. We go to the campaign. This is basically your expedition shop, people. We go in here, we get free campaign medals for as far we have as we have progressed, and then you take those campaign medals and go to the shop. Now, I've used a bunch of them today to get 10 legendary flagship blueprints and 1,000 XP for my flagship, which is both very good items, but you can obviously see here, there's tons of epic flagship blueprints you can buy, tons of resources, there's uh, speed ups in here that you can do, all kinds of stuff that you can get for free just by doing the campaign. And you want to make sure every day that you have maximized your flagship's capability inside the campaign center here, the campaign uh, event. Because if you don't, you're just wasting free campaign medals to use in the shop for free rewards. So that's number one. Campaign is a must have. Top that off at all times. Number two, you've got daily missions. Now, obviously the objective here is to get to the end here. You get tons of resources, speed ups, you get um, core module XP, you get um, tickets to get more crew members, which are very important in the game. But getting this gets you the sp uh, secret prototype device. This is basically a gold chest, people. So you want to be able to get this every single day because it can give you legendary flagship blueprints. It can give you epic flagship blueprints. It can give you Corium. It can give you speed ups. It can give you uh, resources. It gives you all the goodies in this game to help level your account up. So you want to get that thing every single day. And by doing that, to do that, you just do these little mini daily quests. These are things that you should be doing every single day in the game. I need to do one more tactical training base to get another 20 points. That puts me at 335. And then I just gotta explore a couple more times and I will be set. Or I gotta build some ships. Very easy to do. If you're doing these 10 things, this will get your daily mission done every single day, which is what you should be doing. That's number two. Number three, very important. Very important. This is probably the best way to get resources outside of just generically passively farming or by uh, attacking another player. <laughs> attacking another player is probably the best way. But um, the best way to do it where you get more than just resources, you get gear materials, you get um, court, I mean, you get all kinds of stuff, is by killing pirates, guys. Pirates are critical. So you got privateers here. These are your pirates, small marauders. You've got to kill these things every single day. You should never have, if you look at the top left, you should never have a full energy bar. You should always be using all of your energy on those pirates. You get tons of good rewards when you kill them. Go hit explore button here. Large Marauder. I got a bunch of nickel steel, which is really good. Getting some more gear for my, um, my weapons and shields and armor for my flagship. You want all this stuff, guys. All these things are really, really good. You also get some blue materials here. The higher you go, you get a better chance of getting the blue materials. There you go right there. Thermoelectric alloy. You you want all this stuff. You want the nickel steel and you want this. Okay, and these are level 20s right here is where I started getting some of this stuff. But 18, 19, you still have a chance to get some blue materials. But you have to do this every single day. Just, just wipe your bar out. That's all you've got to do. It should take you five minutes. Um, but you're going to get a ton of rewards back from it. And then certainly you can use your revitalizers here. If you want to continue and you've got a little extra time to put into the game, but pirates are very important. You gotta do that. Number four, daily alliance missions. Very similar to just the regular daily missions, there are alliance missions that are exactly the same. Now, a lot of these things, again, are happening by themselves because this is an alliance based activity. It's not just you, but you do contribute towards the overall rewards that you get here. So, the only thing that we have left to do as an alliance is gather some more titanium steel, which I will be doing after this video to make sure that we get the, the best rewards 
rewards here. Tons of resources is the description of that reward, which is nice. Everything else is basically speed ups and corium, which is your gems. So speed ups and gems for free. I'll take it. Thank you. I'll, I'll go ahead and just put that in the bank and move on about my day. That's number four. Number five, tactical training base. Very important. You want to make sure you do this twice a day. Tactical training base gives you a couple things. Let me show you what those things are. If I opened up the right menu, I could. <laughs> tactical training base. Look at this. So you get tons of resources, which is nice. Not tons, but you get a good amount of resources. But the key things that you get, you get XP cards for both your flagship and your crew. Your crew is huge for needing XP. You also have the chance of capturing warships. So here's 10 free warships. You got seven frigates and three destroyers. That's probably a couple hours of training for free. For free. They just give you the time. They just give it right to you. So you got the tactical training base right there. Now, some of them don't give you that, right? So if we go down here really quick, let me see if I can find another one that I did. All right. Can't see it. But you don't get to capture the warships all the time. You don't get those every single time. Um, you get the resources, the loot all the time, but the this is extra if you get a nice little proc which is very nice. You need to do this twice a day, um, 100%. These are just free rewards that you can use to level up your flagship, your crew, and certainly getting more ships is always a good thing in this game. Number six, we got the Campaign Simulation Center. This thing is critical, man. You got to do this as much as humanly possible. Um, and <laughs> there's always going to be somebody rallying this because you can do it quite a bit. So you get a, you, there is a maximum amount. Like I can't rally it right now, because my daily rallies have been exhausted. But you can join rallies. So if somebody else was doing this, you could join the rally and continue to do it. And the rewards are substantial, guys. These are fantastic rewards. So you go to Campaign Simulation. Not only do you get a very good amount of resources and gear here, but this is what you're doing it for. The Federation credits. You use these Federation credits to get epic um, flagships. So you can max out your flagships every single day. So you go to the spaceport really quick. Let me show you where to do it. I've been stacking up quite a bit of epic uh, Federation credits right here. But you use it to buy basically universal uh, blueprints based on these different flagships. And you can buy them. So I could buy 29, which means this is 290 blueprints of the Hercules class, which I think is pretty close to maxing my next advancement uh, on my Hercules. But you get those, and these are just free blueprints. Again, just do the rallies, and you'll get free blueprints, free resources. Um, and it's very, very, very helpful. Number seven. This is something that's just a reminder. You got to throw helps, guys. You got to throw helps. So I need to re redo my research right now because I just went away. Uh, I'm going to, again, continue to work on my flagship now because I need to go farther in the campaign. But what, you ha what happens is, is you throw that out there and you start getting helps. So Alliance members can start hitting help, and that will reduce the time that it takes for you to get your leveling up done. So I've got one hour and ten minutes left on this. In fact, I'll go ahead and get this maxed out. I'll use two two gems there. All right, so let me do military dock. This is a two-day song to unlock my second one. Get more. There we go. And upgrade. Now I'm asking for help every single time. And I should be getting helps from my alliance here. But I'm not. I did. I got two. So they need to hurry up. But <laughs> you see what I'm saying? We need to, you need to be hitting the, uh, the help button every single time. Nikki there just gave me a help. So every time the help button gets hit for you or for your allies, the time it takes to do what you're doing gets reduced. Not to mention, again, just in general, when you do alliance helps, right, it helps overall your alliance growth. Um, upgrading, right? You get upgrading. You got members limits, increasing shop level, Alliance territory limits, this all helps, okay? So you want to make sure that when you're doing that, you're helping out your um, your fellow Alliance mates. Do that. And then also, the most important thing that goes into the growth of the Alliance itself is Alliance tech. Donate. you got to donate every single time. There's a good chunk of time here where I was actually donating. In fact, I'm going to do it again because I, I miss being able to do that. 
um, using your Corium to donate towards the donation cap for your alliance. When you do that, it levels up your alliance. Your alliance preserves go up. And as you go increase your alliance preserves, you can increase your alliance's actual um, level. And then that will help your alliance grow. It'll give you higher shop levels for better stuff in the shop. It'll give you more capability to have more platforms, which, get, which means more resources, which means uh, better buffs for your alliance. You wanna do those things every single day, donations and helps for your alliance. Number eight, you want to explore every day. Uh, this is something I've got to get better at just because it, you have to kind of be be on it, right? But exploring. So right now I am right here. So you pick one, right? So say I want to go here. You want to investigate and explore and prospect. Okay, so when you do this, you get this little reward every single time. So once you get to 250 explorers or prospects, um, you get to... Uh, open this chest. So I need to do my 50 for today because again, you only get 50 explore energy every day. So you want to be doing this every day so that you can unlock this chest here, which gives you crew members, which is very nice. Plus again, more materials. You want to just be exploring nonstop. You want to explore all this stuff. It also unlocks different things like this little special thing can investigate and prospect the star systems in the fog. I've got to, I've got to explore it. But that leads me to number nine, which is discovery events. Okay, so when you go to events again, you go over to discovery and you've got these really cool um, discovery events. And when you complete uh, finding all of these pieces, you get a really good set of rewards. 25,000 core XP, 3,800 um, prestige points, which is roughly seven or eight. Um, yeah, I think eight. This will be eight crew member chances for you to, to pull a legendary crew member, um, plus more resources. And as you go, you get more and more and more of these completed, right? You can you basically scout them with your scouts and you get all these extra things. This is a lot of rewards that you can get. I definitely recommend doing that every day until those are completed. Number nine is one where you actually can finish, but you do want to go ahead and get that stuff done. I just upgraded my dispatch center so I get more rewards. How about that? I do need to repair. All right, so that's number nine. Finally, number 10. It's something I'm going to do right now. <laughs> I need to go to my star system. You need to be mining. You need to be farming. Okay. This game is very intense on resources, which is why I'm making this video in the first place. You have got to be farming. I like to do them on the planets because I can pick a particular resource and it's just an hourly production and it's quite a bit more than just farming in general so I'm going to gather here I'm also going to pick I want to say it's this one yeah I want to gather here launch and then I'm also I think that there might be one more there sure is is this plasma it's not okay cool so I've got all three of my marches gathering now so I'm gonna have a ton of hourly income coming into my spaceport into my pack here where I can use them to obviously do all those upgrades do all those warship um, creation things like that and then again here we go daily mission it's done now I've got my final thing there and I've got that piece that I was talking about which I can show you what you get from it let's see if I get lucky on the the video I've got four of these, so I haven't done them in a while. So let me go ahead and open all four at the same time. Let me show you what you get. So I've got the Athena Legendary Flagship, 10 blueprints. I've got Argo Class, 20 blueprints. Here's the Radamanthus, 10 blueprints. Tons of blue gear here. This is very good. Raw materials and blueprints. Speed ups. Raw materials. We get XP for the flagship, and we get a, ni a nice little chunk of of resources this is exactly what we need we need exactly all of those things when we're growing our account let's go to the spaceport and see if that unlocked any flagship stuff for me it did not i'm not quite there yet but i'm getting there i'm getting there guys this was the i think that's the first athena i got nope third one okay cool so i'm almost there i just need two more and i can summon that flagship so again like those are really important you want to get those every single day guys so that you can start unlocking these ships and then you can start using the federation credits 
that you get from doing the campaign simulator center simulation center on the shop so you can upgrade those ships it's all together so that's the top 10 things that you should be doing in this game to make sure that you're maximizing your value maximizing your time there's tons of things to do in this game guys you just got to do them um, and they're all fun i mean you're, you're doing with your alliance here um, there's obviously tons of events that you can be doing in the meantime in between all those things and then certainly we have fighting going on in this game too which is always fun so hope this has been helpful for you all i hope you've enjoyed I'll see you guys next time cheers have a good one take care